Well, well, well. Looks like we're back here again. That's right, I know. It's been a while. But, this time, we're bringing it back with Oatboat L Reviews. And you know what I'm reviewing? I'm reviewing one of the, the newest addition to one of the first games I ever reviewed. That game being Yakuza. Or as I call it, Yapuza. Pretty funny joke there, I know. This one's called Yakuza Inshin. So far, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, samurais suck, we all know that. Knights, pirates, I can think of like a billion other guys who, you know, are cooler than samurais. You know, it makes, makes no sense to me. This guy's balding. That's freaking stupid, who would want to play as a balding character? This guy has an eye patch, how do you get his eye torn out? What an idiot. Also, pretty sure this guy's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be samurai times. This guy's from modern times. Maybe should Sega should stick to Sonic and what they're good at. Hmm, yeah, that's what I think. Continuing from here, this guy is looking like My Chemical Romance. Like, look at his, look at his hair. Freaking idiot. What is he even trying to do here? Actually, let me check that. What is this guy's name? What is his... Is his name Daily? I have... What is this guy's name? Oh, here it is. Okita Soiji. Okay. Okita Soji. Japanese samurai. Well, first of all, that guy looks nothing like this dweeb. I don't understand how they got that messed up. They must really suck. Plus, they don't even have an English translation. How are they supposed to, like... How are people from America and other countries like that supposed to play this flicking game? Makes zero sense. Zero sense. Plus, another adding on to that, look at they're using guns. We all know America invented guns. Why are they using it? Specifically that kind of gun. Plus, oh my god, look at that. His finger is clipping through the gun and... <laughs> People still call this a good game franchise. Imagine. It's simply unbelievable. Look at these. These two don't even look like they belong in the Samurai universe. This guy has flipping puffy hair, and this guy has silver hair. There were no dying hair products back then. Google it. It'll confirm. I'm telling you right now. There were no hair products to dye your hair with back then. Makes zero flipping sense. Also, why is there a baby? Babies can't fight. You know, little children can't fight last time I checked. Let's see what else. Let's see what else this terrible, terrible game will have in store for us. Oh, but they're already selling merchandise for a game that came out literally two, two, two like, days ago. Unbelievable. The, they're naked. They're naked in that scene. What the heck? They're flicking naked. They need to fix that. They need to patch that out right this instant. Let's see what this gif is. Uh huh. Is that is that it? That is that's it. How do I report something? This thing is, this is. Okay, whatever. It's nothing on here. But you see my issue here, right? Quite simply, this game. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, PlayStation Three. That's there's something on the PlayStation Three. PlayStation Three came out like 50 years ago. Who uses that anymore? Nobody. 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 The only good thing that a PlayStation 3 ever did was release Batman the Dark Knight as like a cover for it. That's like the only good thing. A Joker one version too. Only good thing they ever did. And this is just lazy. Right here. This is just lazy. Calling it Yakuza 2. It makes no sense because if you remember correctly, this game takes place in the flicking medieval ages. Samurais and such. You know? What sense does it make to have flipping flipping Yakuza 2. Yakuza 1 took place in like the 80s or something. Zero cents. Zero. Zero zero cents. Zero. Zilch. Nada. You understand my issue here? Well, I suppose that's about it. I rate this game zero heads out of seven. Thank you for watching Oatboat Ellers. 
Sorry for not posting in a bit. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I could care less.